Hello, I'm the Nerdy Steve and welcome to my channel. Today I will be reviewing We Live in Time in one take. So, let's start. We Live in Time is a romantic tragedy that centers around the lives of Tobias, played by Andrew Garfield, and Almuv, played by Florence Pugh. These two meet on accident and it's basically love at first sight. Over the course of the film, we see their relationship and themselves develop and change as our couple is faced with some tragic, and some joyous events. Originality is not a prerequisite for a compelling film, and We Live in Time is hardly original, but that is okay. I don't need you to be unique, I just want to be taken on a ride. And We Live in Time is an emotional ride. It is a sad ride, but ultimately, it uses non-linear storytelling to hide what is an uninteresting ride. Time jumps in narratives can reinforce the themes of the movie. In Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, a romantic drama about a couple who erase their memories of each other, the scenes set in the past help inform and complicate the character's actions. The use of memory is important to understand how much of our history with someone can dictate our future with them. We Live in Time doesn't have a thematic undercurrent guiding the different plot points. This chaoticness could potentially be misconstrued as purposeful, because maybe life can be chaotic too? But I can't imagine that was the intention. And just as importantly, I don't think the connections between scenes elevated the story being told. The Last Five Years is a romantic musical drama that is about the beginning and ending of a relationship. Structurally, the woman's songs are told in reverse chronological order and the man's chronologically. What that means is that her first song is about the breakup and his is after their first date. The story ordering puts these two scenes together that otherwise would be far apart, and it creates an emotionally devastating connection that normally would not be present. We Live in Time doesn't use this style of storytelling method to its strengths. There were maybe one or two scenes that created an emotional connection that would not have been there in a conventional arrangement, but more often, the scene placement just seemed arbitrary. Challengers came out this year, and it's a drama that involves an intricate three-way relationship that is also told in a non-linear fashion, but it does it much more clearly. The scenes within Challengers are presented and centered around a specific tennis match, and the flashbacks help illuminate and get us into the headspace of what our characters are thinking. Each revelation makes us understand what this tennis match means to the players, and this recontextualization of events and layering of information is fun and engaging. In We Live in Time, there doesn't seem to be a specific cadence or pattern to what scenes are where and why, and it leads to a somewhat confusing experience. There hardly seems any rhyme or reason to how the narrative unfolds in We Live in Time. Whenever a scene ends, you can't be sure if you're going to get a resolution or what might be happening next. Challengers also uses the same tools as We Live in Time, like hair and costumes, to help delineate the different timelines, but does it much more successfully, which helps with the enjoyment of the film. I think We Live in Time's way of presenting the story was messy and a detriment. There isn't a clear focus or through line to help the audience understand what we are seeing. Instead of focusing on this intimate look into love and loss, I had to spend a lot of mental energy to remember what each character knew. I want to shout out the acting by the two leads. This film does not work if there isn't a huge amount of romantic chemistry to carry it, and there is so much thorough love here. If you're a fan of either actor, the movie is worth it just for them. Overall, 
the movie is fine. I enjoyed myself. I cried. I laughed. Will I rewatch it? No. But if you want to go to the theater and see a nice love story, then you won't be sorry. I'm the Nerdy Steve, and thank you so much for watching. And as always, like and subscribe and comment below to tell me how right or wrong you think I am. Have a wonderful morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever you are. Bye.